Hello everybody, this is Marcus Vinolt. Today I want to show you how to use Resolve Color Management and DaVinci Wide Gamut with GoPro Log Footage. It's quite simple, but it does require a plugin. So this guy, uh, Asim, he created a plugin that transforms your footage to uh, DaVinci Wide Gamut if you want to work scene referred with GoPro cameras. So let's see how this works. It works as a DCTL uh, and it's called GP Tune Transform. First off, you have to enter your log base, which is basically if you use uh, GoPro Log, it's 400. Enter the camera model, which in this case is the Hero 11, Custom Log B or GP Log, uh, which in my case is Custom Log B. And if you shoot with native, you can choose native. If you shoot with wide, you can choose wide. In this case, I shot with uh, Rec 709, which is the flat GoPro profile. So essentially, if you shoot uh, 5500 Kelvin, uh, then this is correct. Uh, if you use native in the white balance section, then choose native. Color science and lighting, just leave them on uh, whatever they are. Now for the co uh, timeline color space, you want to use uh, DaVinci White Gamut here. So you're essentially transforming it to DaVinci White Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate. Uh, and at the end of your chain, you're going to go from DaVinci Wide Gamut again to Rec. 709, oops, and Gamma 24 with some gamut mapping. Now you see that the image is very dark. This is because of the math inside of this uh, DCTL. I usually go for 2.5 stops uh, of uh, exposure correction on almost all of my shots, always. If I had a multiple bunch of GoPro clips, I would just add them all to a group. I would call it GoPro uh, Log B 400. And then you can use these, instead of uh, using them in the clip section, you can use them all in their post group section. So basically you can delete this and now you can just work normally how you would uh, grade any other clip. So now you have added the input display transform to the pre-clip and the output display transform to the post-clip and you have bypassed the color management. This is now a correct starting point and you can grade as you would normally uh, in DaVinci White Gambit. So add your note tree start doing the exposure, add whatever LUT. If you want to add the LUT, you make sure that you add a DaVinci white gamut designed LUT here. Or if you have a LUT that's designed for Rec. 709, you add it after the output display transform. I have a LUT here designed for DaVinci white gamut, so I'm gonna add that. And I like what this is doing to the image. Maybe a slight adjustment in exposure here. And then just go through the clip, make sure it looks good. GoPro clips always, uh, you want to do small adjustments with GoPro clips because they are very sensitive to big changes because it's a lot of nature and human eyes are good at spotting strange anomalies in nature colors. So this is a small tip guide how to use DaVinci color management with GoPro clips. Really simple, but it does require a paid plugin, unfortunately. Thanks for watching. Peace out.